हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कैफे आईओ कैफे आईओ में आपका स्वागत है इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट आईडीईज एंड मोस्ट ऑफ यू इफ यू आर इनटू डेवलपमेंट और हैव यू यू हैव टच सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इन एनी वे यू मस्ट बी फैमिलियर विद विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड इट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आईडीईज आउट देयर वर्क्स विद टंस ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस बट आई हैव बीन ऑलवेज ऑन द लुकआउट फॉर समथिंग न्यू आई ऑलवेज लाइक टू ट्राई न्यूअर टूल्स एंड न्यूअर कैपेबिलिटीज एंड with that in mind i stumbled upon jet brains fleet now this is something that jet brains is a company which is into ides and if you are familiar with the company they do all of these different ides so they they have an id for java python which is pycharm is a very famous intellij idea is very famous goland is famous for data science they have data spell and they have an id for a programming language I don't know how and why they chose this strategy which is giving a programming language specific id but i'm sure this has made them tons of money over the years so there's there's plenty of ids out there that jet brains has interestingly now jet brains is trying to venture into cloud and development environment and figure out a new business strategy for themselves and as a part of that exercise they are launching some very interesting and collaborative tools something like fleet about which i'm going to talk about today and also spaces which is like cloud powered development environments and we'll touch upon it a little bit so let's quickly look at the feature set of fleet and then we'll do a deeper dive initial impressions i really liked it i think this is better than vs code in some ways but given that vs code is free extensible i would still continue to probably use that I do put a I will put a disclaimer that I use a paid version of PyCharm uh, because I find it a tad better with Jupyter experience than uh, Visual Studio Code or general Jupyter IDE and I get a couple of nice features in there but we'll touch upon that too let's get started so JetBrains fleet is branded as a next generation of IDEs and uh, by JetBrains again it's a company that does developer tools and uh, we'll we'll get into the ui but the whole ecosystem is you know touched by collaborative feature as you can see there's tons of different icons here a lot of different people doing cursors you have christina natli martin arjun hedi all of these different guys they are probably working at different pieces of code and this could be just one single file or multiple files now imagine how much boost you can get in your productivity if your developers are all of them within the same window and they can see the code you know you could get live inputs you can ask comments you can ask somebody to write a function for you they could be looking at their code and it 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 takes the interactiveness to a whole new level and uh, these guys have had 20 years of experience which is just amazing they have been building ides for so long probably i think the only company in the world that has this long uh, experience in building ides which are cross platform there's obviously eclipse foundation and couple of other players in the market but i think they are smaller so yeah this is a very editor light and the way this is id is looked at if you see this is your machine there's different language servers there's a code engine there's your source code and it works and then you have a tons of different features which we should probably scroll a little slower about sorry about that so it's smart uh, it's built into if you are just using locally it uh it works in a way that it, it integrates quickly and scans your system and it did that uh, on my machine and i really liked it it automatically scanned all the interpreters that were scanned uh, got the libraries which is very uh, ex- i wouldn't say exclusive to jet brains but they do it really fast uh and then you can also make it a polyglot environment so if you have a project which is using two different programming languages or multiple programming languages or you can do on the flies on that i think you can even do this in vs code but this comes out with a little more nifty features which we'll talk about it is designed for flexibilities i think as i was saying you can connect it to spaces and uh, well, let's just quickly look at jet plane spaces spaces is a collaboration platform now they have jira integration as well and it provides the whole suite to hosting developing quality control building and publishing and planning and then you have tons of ids in the ecosystem etc etc so i'll i'll probably talk about that in a dedicated video but it's a whole development ecosystem rather than just an ide 
and then you can connect to remote machines you can connect with docker and show that it starts basically with that so the idea and i think the philosophy this ide has been built with is truly collaboration you can connect to cloud you can connect to virtual machines you can connect to remote machines you can connect to docker instances you can connect with different people and that's where the power lies so if you see this is how your you know interactiveness so somebody is working in space you have your machine space is where the collaboration is happening you have a fleet instance there you have source code there code engine there anything there and you have collaboration works with tons of different languages i'll, I'll get into this in more detail when i show the id and uh, again you can run it from spaces as i was just talking so it has all the necessary tools it has terminal run and debug git go to multi-platform themes forwarding ai uh, chatbot uh, which i've talked about in a previous video and then it also has plugins, uh, which I think it's coming soon feature, but I'll show some of it. All right. Before I go further, I want to take a pause. If you're new to my channel, I talk a lot about software architecture, AI, ML ops, and stuff like that. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've liked the video so far, please share it, etc. Also, I want to show my analytics quickly that I get decent number of new viewers today, but most people who end up on my channel about 98.3% do not subscribe my channel and that really doesn't help me. So a small request, if you guys like my channel, if you guys like my content, please hit the like button, please hit the share button, put in a comment if you have a question and please do subscribe. Let's move forward. All right, uh, I'll probably want to draw analogies. Uh, this is a Jupyter based environment in VS Code. I uh, would say I'm okay with it. It has version control, it has extensions and all, but the ID experience or the UI hasn't uh, increased. And what I've felt is as I add more plugins, I tend to get distracted by it. So I don't use this. Instead, what I use is this, which is PyCharm. And if I open PyCharm, I, you can see that it's really easy and minimalistic and it has all the features now i think around this minimalistic design is what fleet has been built into now let's probably close it let's probably just close it yeah once i close that this is how you are greeted with and if you see it talks about either clone from git connect to a space, connect to SSH, Docker, or you can do collaboration joining the session. So this connects to a workspace ID, this connects to Docker, SSH, and it, this connects to space. If you have hosted space, I don't, so it doesn't work. So I have opened uh, the setup. Now, what I will start by talking is it doesn't yet support Jupyter, or I might have not figured it out, either of the two. But so far, I haven't managed to get it up and running. So uh, it just shows uh, Jupyter as a binary or as a uh, JSON file, which is of no use. So there's a Python file and I'll talk about the smart features that it has now. So one out of the blue, the UI is really neat. Uh, you don't have any buttons. It's very minimalistic, but uh, you know, everything is available as you, uh, you go deeper into this. On the left hand side, you have your file window, which is clearly visible. You have Git and you have all your history that you work with. So this could be your Git history. This could be your, you know, regular workspace history if you want. And then you have here the folder, you have here the branch and you can add a collaborator here. You can, so you don't need to call somebody on a Teams meeting or something like that. I think it can be uh, conversation driven or it can be code driven. And then when you go on this part, you will have few updates. So one is the smart mode, which analyzes the code and it kind of provides completion, error detection, fixes, refactors in an automated way using AI. This is updating the interpreter. It scans the environment because I just reloaded it. And what you will see is some really easy way to run it there wasn't a run button but if you see in the right hand side itself wherever it feels there's a run possibility like you see it here and then as you go below you'll see also around the main so i can run it even from here uh, and it will run the same thing this is an async code which is just getting some stock data and publishing it so it's very 
you know clean that way if i want to run it here's a very nice and beautiful yellow colored icon and it shows me tons of uh, messages one warning nine week warning which is a good thing right it it categorizes what kind of messages it's giving in a smart way so i have a variable which is not used which is good and then the rest of them are pep eight messages which i don't give a damn about uh, so it's, it's it's nice that way now i can also submit a run configuration which is completely json driven so you can have a configuration python you can have the file name you can have the argument so let's say if you are have different project folders and you're working with different frameworks fast api or uh, flask or django you could put all those configurations in here and uh, it could automatically pick depending on how you pick a folder so it's it's not tied to the ide as such and then but there's a run.json which where you have all the configurations if I, if you delete this you can have fast api and it will update it according to fast api but since i had python before oh that's what it is doing i'm not going to save this because this will mess up a bit for me and then you have your search button think of this as a quick toggle i think there was, there's a shortcut for this yeah control k sorry my bad which is go to and using this you can search like nifty and i will get the file so you can it, it's a complete workspace level search and it searches across uh, uh, files classes functions pretty much everything and symbols everything so you can search for anything here you can make operations within there for example if i search for a, a variable or something like that it, it, it can do that again jupyter notebooks are not uh, red so that's a challenge but i'm pretty sure they'll work it out actions tons of different actions and operations uh, if you have ai assistant supported about which i talked long back it will probably help you out here there is a lot of tools you have ai assistance file browser git history all of that uh, that you would need uh, it's just available here if you want docker it will just show you docker and uh, there was no icon for docker but it just came when i needed it so uh, that's probably what the power of this is and it doesn't connect to docker daemon but probably what i'll do is i'll just start docker on my machine and see in few minutes back if it picks automatically or not i will come back to the tools a little later you can obviously do terminal and you will get a terminal and uh, uh, tons of different i think any uh, uh, tool that you want it will give you it it will automatically write your commit messages and all that but those are very nifty features now this has notifications because this is a preview feature power tool uh, it, it talks about what they have introduced recent so that's an okay feature uh, i would say let's go to settings now when you go to plugin this is something very interesting i did first i was thinking about that i need to install some plugins but then i realized it already has 46 plugins and what are these 46 plugins these are most common languages that you have so if you search for python it has python if you search for go it has go if you search for rust it has rust if you search for ruby no ruby is not there okay what else language java of course should be there javascript is there typescript is there node is not there but typescript is there so that's not a good thing to check php is even there i wasn't expecting it css is there or uh, vue.js is there yaml is there for configuration spring boot is there so most of the stuff that you would use in a modern day web developer or even c sharp is there i didn't know that c plus wow so yeah all of these things are present and you can remove them and probably in the future they'll add more of it so very interesting and nice way now let's go back and see if in the tools if the docker is available yeah you see i did not do anything i just started docker or uh, in there but the id was smart enough to figure out in the background that docker has started and scan the containers and uh, you know, scan the images and i even have options to start and stop uh, and do some inspections on the container so i can look at the ready stack uh, from here but i'll not pro prefer to do that but this kind of is a very good or uh, an interesting interface uh, so yeah that's something which i like and then I'll probably also want to go talk about a little bit. So you have some refactoring options available. You can extract methods. You can optimize imports and stuff like that, which is code tuning. You can 
connect to external services i think there was a button somewhere here yeah this one you can start session join session let's just one moment I'll... yeah so i went to settings flow fleet and then settings this is on mac probably on windows you'll have a similar menu and uh, what it's doing is it has some general and global settings and then playground setting playground is just the name of my folder so as i was saying it, it is smart enough to realize that there's just python in here so it's only showing python but it's uh, effectively a settings.json that you can customize and then there are some global options like you know font theme etc how do you want to look and feel docker integration terminal integration etc etc yeah that's what this id is about i would probably think that this is headed to be becoming better than vs code or if you are developing within a team uh, i might even get it independently for myself because i do work on multiple languages i'm not a seasoned developer but i do try to learn new things and stuff so this would be a great id also i've always loved the font that they have i know i can get it in vs code which i have probably already done so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about a new id with tons of good integrations and system i think the ai assistant might not be working because i don't have the invite for it but again this is something that i have done a video on when i had the invite and this takes the peer, peer programming and uh, assistive development to a whole new level you can generate code and documentation commit messages you can chat on it to check for documentation uh, you can get some help in terminal like for example if you want to do advanced grep command commit messages do some sort of terminal assistance which you have forgotten how do i rename a file in terminal you can do that and stuff like that so yeah this would probably be very useful and interesting uh, my most and best popular theme is i do the ui of it so that's a good enough sell for me i i i strive for things that look good and are fully functional so yeah that's my two cents on jetbrains fleet when it does come out uh, or if you want to try it now you can actually do it right away it's a free download it's available through jetbrains toolbox you don't need to do anything just go to download and it has uh, windows mac os windows mac linux and mac has intel and apple variants if you have an intel mac and it was very recently updated it's free to use as i was saying during public preview and is available using the toolbox which is this all right thank you guys for watching this video please do subscribe bye bye